Yard sale for free. Sold for $211.23 plus shipping. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, we're going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted Share Your Best October Bolo in my Facebook group, and you guys brought the bolos. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for sharing. I definitely have learned so much from everyone that shares. This is a whole series of... Um, videos. I think this is my sixth one for this post. So I'm just doing them all in order. So check out those other videos. They just, the bolos that have been shared are incredible. I just shared a bolo that somebody bought for 25 and sold for 750. And it was a clothing brand that I have never heard of. So you can definitely learn a lot from these videos. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Quiet Thrifter, and this is her eBay store. She is a Bolo finder, and she sells a lot of things that I would walk past. I have featured her store before, and she's a Bolo finder, so check her out. I will link her down below. I bought this cute plush last year on Christmas closeout at my local thrift for $1.78. He sold in two days for full asking price and buyer paid shipping. This is what it looks like. It's a 2011 Disney Hallmark Christmas Prep and Landing Wayne Talking Plush. Never heard of him, but he talks. So anything animated, look it up because some of them go for big money. $45 plus shipping on that. This one also comes from The Quiet Thrifter. No way would Bolo Buddies be shipping this. Now, I do know that American Bubble Boy has uh, this stuff called Instapack. This probably would have been a good item for that. So basically what it does is it you do something, I've never used it, and it foams up and goes around the item and encases it. I don't really know how it works, but um, check that out. I'm sure you can find a YouTube video on it, but uh, Instapack is what it's called, and you can find that on American Bubble Boy. I do have a referral link down below for American Bubble Boy because that's where I get my bubble wrap, and if you guys use that, I do get a um, referral credit, so I appreciate it when you guys use my links. Uh, but yeah, Instapack. They also have uh, tape now. So, you know, like packaging tape that we all use. <laughs> it is also being sold on American Bubble Boy. So I think they're going to have more things in the future, but those are three things that you can get from them currently. So she said, I spotted this gorgeous sculpture at a local thrift for 30. It was listed for about a month and I took a best offer of 200. Yes, it was terrifying to ship. Are you kidding me? Um, I use lots of pool noodles and bubble wrap and she arrived safe and undamaged. Yes, pool noodles are also great. Um, but for something like this, wow. She sold it for a best offer of 200. It is a 1991, I always forget how to say it, Gipsy, Gipsy, <laughs> Yar. Uh, Armani, young lady by the, oh goodness me, just read the title guys, just read it so I don't have to embarrass myself anymore. All right, here we go. Actually, I'm not embarrassed at all. Like I just, I don't want to say I can't read, but I can't read some words. They're hard. They're hard. Like what does that even say? They're usually like foreign words, you know, that are, they're not like common words usually. <laughs> okay, there have been a few. All right, this one also comes from the quiet thrifter. Train sets are not usually something I would pick up. I knew this one would appeal to both Lionel Train and Harry Potter collectors. I paid up at $70, but it sold in under a week for the full asking price of $189. And the buyer paid shipping. It weighed a ton. So it is a Lionel Train. And it was not tested and still sold for that. That's what it looks like. And you can see here that it sold for full asking price of $189. She had this on auction at $119 and it looks like she had best offer on it and took a best offer. So when you see listings that sell on auction, it's not always accurate because you can see here it says 119. I'm guessing that's what happened. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member 1987 Ventures and this is her YouTube channel and eBay store. She said, I've missed a few months and October has been less than stellar. So here goes. This was from a Disney haul on Facebook Marketplace last year. These DVD sets were the only things I hadn't listed because they were stuck in a box in her massive money pile. 
I have 75 for the huge haul and have made hundreds already. Sold these two for the most and could have held out for more, but yeah. Took a best offer of 150 plus shipping on this one. Walt Disney Treasures Chronological Donald Duck Volume 4 DVD set in the 10 case. Look at that case, guys. Remember it. And if you see it, look it up. Best offer of 150. This one sold for 115, and these are more, but this is volume three right there. Nice bolo. Here's another one from 1987 Ventures. Found this on a visit to the Ben's store while out of town for the weekend. My guesstimate is that I paid a dollar or two for this. Took a best offer of a hundred dollars. Ralph Lauren. Kathleen Cottage Country Yellow Floral Rose Queen Bed Skirt Sateen. And this is what it looks like. Yes, anything Ralph Lauren, anything vintage uh, linens, clothing, look it up. A lot of the Ralph Lauren vintage is a bolo. This one also comes from Bolo Buddies member Vintage Booth Pro. And this is what her YouTube channel looks like. And she has a lot of videos that talks about having a booth and how to sell from a booth but she also sells on eBay. Ralph Lauren, we just talked about Ralph Lauren, cashmere sweater, got it in a community yard sale for a dollar and sold it for full price of 40. And this is what it looks like. And her eBay store is Nichols Dimes Store and Vintage Booth Pro is her YouTube channel. Here's another one from her. Dave Matthews Band Poster. Found my collection had duplicates. Listed for $300 and sold for $250. So she must collect posters. Oh, it's got a cool owl on it. Love it. All right, here we go. Found this Stormtrooper helmet at the Idaho Youth Ranch. It talks. Started to just list it for $40 and move on, but saw comps as high as $55 on eBay. Decided might as well go big and listed it on Marketplace for $55. It sold in less than 24 hours for full asking price. Might have even been more like 12 hours. Paid under 10 for it. Super stoked about this fine. So it is a clone Stormtrooper helmet and sold it on Facebook. Susan Summers white faux fur coat. Paid eight at the Salvation Army and sold for full asking price of 75. I had grabbed it off the rack with the thought of it being an awesome pimp costume for Halloween. When I examined it further at home, I realized it was in mint condition. And this is what it looks like. She sold it for $75. That's awesome. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member uh, Toy Attic. And this is her YouTube channel. Definitely give her a follow over on YouTube. She is fantastic. She said, this sold in one day for full asking. I bought 40 menus on high bid for $4 each. I've listed them all between $25 and $100 each. I love to sell menus and often have to go to use worth point to find a price or come up with one of my own. They can be long tail, but I think they're fun. I have a video about what to look for when buying menus to sell. Definitely check out Toy Attic, her menus video because she is super knowledgeable and has great educational tutorial videos. This one is from Truman's Restaurant and it sold for $40. And what she said about worth point, yes, worth point is fantastic for hard to find items. It is also great for um, looking up comps that you may not expect. I have videos on WorthPoint and how I've made more money on items because I used WorthPoint. It took me a long time to get WorthPoint because it's expensive. I pay by the year because I wanna save money. I'm cheap, I don't wanna pay by the month. I'd rather pay by the year and get it cheaper, save money per month by doing the yearly service. That's just me, you can pay by the month. I do have a referral link for WorthPoint down below. And if you type in Bolo Buddies Worth Point, I do have lots of videos, I think two or three, maybe four, telling you how Worth Point works. So definitely check those out before you make that commitment. Worth Point, it's not for everyone. You have to find out if it's worth it for you. Again, it took me a long time. It's pricey, but when you start to use things that make you more money, you start to realize that the cost is worth it. Same thing with List Perfectly, cross posting. It's worth it. Yes, there's a monthly service fee to use it, but how much time are you saving? Time is money. And if you can cross post quicker, you can manually do it. Sure, you can do that for free, but you can cross post so much quicker and time is money. Check out my list perfectly video down below. It shows you how I use it. I've been using it since 2019. 
absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. They just came out with the Pro Plus plan. It is more expensive. It is for more of an advanced seller, in my opinion. Um, somebody who is like cranking out those listing listings and it has lots of great new features. I do have a video on the Pro Plus plan if you want to check that out. You can also go to List Perfectly. There's a link down below and they'll show you what it offers. Um, if you decide you would like to try List Perfectly after watching that video, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word. And again, I have been using it since 2019. It's what, 23? Four years? <laughs> I've been using it for four years and I still love it. All right, you guys, that link's down below. Check it out. Um, I acted like that. That was weird that I still love it after four years. Like sometimes you just find things you love, right? Okay, let's see. I bought this crock on half off day at my local thrift store for $2.50 and it sold overnight for full asking price of $49.99. I listed it for a little higher than recent sold comps, but maybe could have listed it higher since it sold so fast. It even had a small flaw on the back of the handle where the paint was rubbed off but not chipped. Either way, I was happy with the sale. And this is what it looks like. So this may be a good example of an item that you would want to search worth point. If you can't find solds on eBay or there's only one or two, you go over and you check worth point and you see what other comps have sold for. Terra Peak is free. It is on eBay. It is also a great free tool to use, but worth point goes back even further. Vintage Gund Monkey Plush, $3.99 at the Goodwill, started at $60 on Mercari, dropped price a few times, and sold it for $45.60 plus shipping. Get those plush on Mercari. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I love Mercari for plush. Hi, Courtney. This, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member AEG's Estate Treasure. She said, I had a few bolos this month, but this was my favorite. I got this broken mice tro musical piece at an estate sale broken um i was told it's broken but it was so cute i bought it anyway i paid a dollar 50 and took a best offer of 80 dollars in two weeks there you go and you guys if you're not selling on poshmark and mercari and you're thinking about it i mentioned list perfectly definitely those are the two platforms i go to etsy is great there's also depop there's like i don't know 10 different platforms you can cross post to with list perfectly. But um, if you think about, if you're thinking about getting on Poshmark and Mercari, use those referral links down below because you will get money to shop. I picked this up at a garage sale in the garage sale listing, saw this sitting on a shelf. So I went specifically for this. When I got there, everything was at eBay prices or higher. My heart sunk. I, I saw this game, opened it up, and saw a price tag of $5. I couldn't get sell reception, so I couldn't comp it, but I had a good feeling since all the pieces were present. Got it home, comped it for high hundreds. However, this one was in vastly better condition. Listed it $250 and sold in two hours. It's a Monopoly game. What? 1946 white box monopoly game with wooden houses and hotels that person at the garage sale missed it they had everything at ebay prices this one comes from jersey shore thrifter as we all do i sure love sourcing inventory for free this shotgun case is very good condition came from a trash pile close inspection revealed absolutely nothing wrong with it. So I comped it out and listed it. It took less than a week to sell and I got full asking price of $94.99 plus shipping. Love the curbside shopping. This man finds so many great items on the side of the road. Another freebie. Imagine that. He got another freebie. This one was a little different. Helping a friend clean out his her mother's estate. After she had held several estate sales, she called and said, my wife and I could come in and take whatever we want for free. Found this tucked away in a dirty corner of the basement. It was definitely old and I knew it had to have some value. Turns out it's a base stand for a store display. Buster Brown Shoes Mannequin. Oh, how cool. I found no history of any solds on Terra Peak or otherwise. Threw it on auction starting at 150 Another one that Worth Point may have come in handy. Uh, got no action at 150 on auction. So I listed it at a buy it now for that and opened it up for best offers. It took about six months to sell, but I finally got an offer for 50 and I'd figured I'd had it long enough. So I'd let her go. Zero into 50 works for me every time. That is cool. He probably could have held out for more for sure. 
But again, it's it takes the right buyer. It's a long tail item. I found this old beauty at a church thrift store. They asked 10 and I felt bad getting it that cheap. So I paid them 20. I had it listed for several weeks with a lot of interest, watchers and questions coming my way. Finally, someone actually decided to pull the trigger, sold it for 150 plus shipping. Packaging was definitely laborious, but I was able to get it safe there safely. And the buyer was thrilled and left me terrific feedback. Church sale for the win. It is a 1956 Singer sewing machine. I would not want to ship that. I should do a video called I would not want to ship that. Bolos, I would not want to ship. I have seen several YouTubers talking about this brand, No Bowl. I've never heard of this, but had never found a pair. Just my luck that I found a pair at an estate sale for $5 and they appear to have never been worn. They did not last long. Cross posted them on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark and they were purchased on Mercari within a week for $65 plus shipping their shoes. And as I always say, there are different buyers on different pl platforms. So definitely cross post your items. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Leo's Treasures. I purchased this in an estate sale for $4. It's a vintage 1993 Lennox Christmas trees around the world, England plate limited edition in the original box. Bought for $4 and I took a best offer of $65 and the buyer paid shipping. Definitely check out Leo's Treasures. I will link her eBay store down below. She is a bolo finder. And she sold a plate. Let's see what else she sold here. Oh, a Jim Shore. Jim Shore is definitely a bolo. Uh, Leo's Treasures again. I purchased this at a garage sale for 3 bucks. It is a 2018 Jim Shore Margaritaville surfing parrot ornament in the original box. It sold for $55.75 and the buyer paid shipping. If you see Jim Shore, look it up. Leo's Treasures again. I found this at an estate sale for a dollar. You guys are going to love this. It is a vintage 1998 Carlton Cards Nintendo Yoshi Mario Christmas ornament in the original box. It sold for full asking price of $85 plus shipping. That is fantastic. Oh my goodness. Are you guys ready for this? Got it for free at a yard sale. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper. They are a Bolo Buddies member. This is their YouTube channel and their eBay store is the same name. Yard sale for free. Sold for $211.23 plus shipping. It is a SpongeBob SquarePants TV. How did they get it free? I just want to know, like, how and why? This one also comes from Picker Money Flipper. My husband saw this at a yard sale. He paid $75 for it. It's a Segway. It wasn't working, so we listed it for parts and sold it for $524.96 local pickup not working parts parts or repair 524 dollars. are you hearing this that is crazy no charger needs battery wow here is another one from picker money flipper uh definitely check out their youtube channel they got some cool they got they got some they have some very cool bolos paid two dollars at a yard sale and it sold for 169.96 plus shipping it is a comfort glow Hearthside handheld gas fireplace thermostat. There it is. Remote control, guys. Bought two of these natural red rubber corduroy tie tubes on high bid auction for five. Couldn't find any comps on eBay or Worth Point. So I listed one on eBay auction and started it at $99 or buy it now $250. It's sold in less than 24 hours for $250. Now I'm wondering how much to price the other one at. Okay, I would start the other one at $249.99 auction style on eBay. That is what I would do if you haven't already listed it. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Lola's Trunk Treasure. She said, I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents and sold it under a week for $49.99 plus shipping. It is a Hallmark Itty Bitty Special Edition Harry Potter and Hogwarts Express with original tags. And this is what it looks like. Bolo Buddies member, Lola's Trunk Treasures, won an abandoned storage unit at the end of September, pennies into each item. 
including a milk crate of 15 vintage Briar stable mate horses in excellent condition. Have sold six already, including this one that sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Buyer all in for $57. And the last one here comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures also. Pick this vintage Carter's Terry Cloth Bear Baby Rattle up for $3 at the Goodwill. Took a while to sell, as most plush does, and had a few lowball offers. Finally sold for full asking price of $49.99, and the buyer used 10% off $30 and was all in for $55.83. And this is what it looks like. It is Carter's and it is Terry Cloth. Always look up anything Terry Cloth. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out that description for links and different things that I have mentioned. I did mention Mercari and Poshmark. If you join Poshmark with the referral link, you get $10 to shop. If you join with my referral link, Mercari, you get a lot more. You get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And they also give me money to shop. So I really appreciate it when you guys use my referral links. Thanks so much. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.